You start. <laughs> <laughs> Nico absolutely hates spicy food. So this is gonna be one of my favorite videos. I'm gonna do a couple of recipes, get my ingredients here at Landers, and then cook in the studio, and then just bring him to his level of hell. It's gonna be beautiful. This is gonna be such a fun episode because I just love torturing Nico. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the first recipe we're gonna do, very simple. It's a recipe that a lot of people have been asking me for. Um, and it's really simple to do. A tuete or anato seeds with some oil, bring that to a boil. And then we're gonna take it off the fire once it's boiling. That color will infuse, you can then strain it. Um, and then in the food processor here, all we're gonna do is put some garlic and some chilies, which I'm gonna do um, in a bit. And then we're gonna add that to the oil and cook it down really slowly until everything is combined perfectly. So I might turn on the fire again, um, just to let it bubble slightly. Um, but what I'm looking for is nice tender pieces of garlic, not like crunchy pieces of garlic. While that's bubbling away, very quick one. Using similar ingredients, so that's why I'm not gonna wash this. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but also because it's exactly the same ingredients. I mean, the, the, um, we're gonna add some garlic and some chilies as well, but this time we're gonna add some tomatoes and some onions. Oil in the pan, same thing, put it in. And then we're gonna cook that really down slowly. What we're looking for is, you'll see as I mix it together here, everything looks kind of combined, but as things cook down, um, what you're looking for is for that oil to separate and for that oil to really rise up. So you're looking for like slight caramelization of the sambal. Next one I'll do is very simple kind of like Chinese style chili sauce. So again, same thing, garlic, some red chilies with a little bit of salt. In a small little pan here, some sesame oil. I'm gonna very gently fry off the garlic and the chilies. Add a little bit of sugar, some good quality soy sauce, some neutral oil like canola. And then if you have them, you can use Sichuan red chili flakes. I'm just gonna use some regular chili flakes here. So I'm gonna let that on low heat for about 10 minutes. Finally, the last one that we're gonna do is kind of like a salsa verde or a, like a hot green chili sauce. Um, really simple, one white onion. Put that in a pot here, to which we're gonna add some long green chilies. Finally, green tomatoes. Cover it all up with some hot water, and we're gonna let that simmer for about 10 minutes. Vegetables look like they're ready to go. Switch out the pan, food processor back on. Place all of this drained inside here. If there's a little bit of water, not to worry, we're still gonna cook this out. Turn this on. Well, that's good. I'm gonna add in all my coriander. All that goes into our pan here. So we're gonna cook all this down on a low simmer for about 10 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all she wrote. So we're just gonna go ahead and take these off completely and separate them. So the first, is the Chinese chili sauce. Look at that. That looks good, deep, dark color, exactly what we want. Next, we have our Indonesian style sambal. You'll see that it's totally changed color and that it's kind of floating in some oil, which is exactly what we wanted. Next, we've got our Filipino style anato chili garlic oil. And last but not least, our Mexican style inspired salsa verde. There you go, that looks festive. Arriba, arriba, okay. So I'm gonna cover all these up, leave them behind me, and tomorrow's gonna be the best day of my life. So after all that cooking, I prepared for you, my friend Nico. I don't wanna be here, I don't wanna do this. Four delicious sauces. These guys saw exactly the amount of chilies that go on and everything. I prepared a variety because I, that's how much I like you. And they're all delicious. I tried all of them, they all actually taste good. The whole point here was to make sauces that are really good for people who like spicy food, not 
just sauces that are spicy for the sake of being spicy. Okay, why don't you invite some, someone who likes spicy food, not like me, that I hate spicy food. I don't hate spicy food. I don't hate it, but I do don't like it a lot, like almost hating it. Okay, where do you want to start? And then you use bolsico beef, so and you make... And we're using yeah. beef flank steak right So, here. one of my favorite things in the world, one of the, my least favorite things in the world. Where do you want to start? I want to start because I think it looks the most, you know, friendly is the green one. Okay. I'm gonna put it on. No, don't, don't put too much also. No, it's a, it's a little bit. Mm. Nico. Bro, bro. These are not like hot sauces, they're spice chili sauces. This one's not too bad. This one's not spicy. Yeah, see, it's okay. It's just a little bit of heat. Mm. I told you, he didn't believe me. But it's not spicy. This is a, it has like some a heat. It has bit, a bit a little, of heat, yeah. Like now at the end of my throat, it's like, mmm. Because this is green chilies cooked down a little bit, so not too spicy. So this is, a, this is the softest. That's like an introduction to our sauces today. What That's do you want to try next? Indonesian. All right. This one on the other side looks a bit more spicy. It smells also really good. This is like a bit. I need two of us. Just a two of us. Pushing the limits a bit, but still tasty. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, I it's okay. Think, yeah, you, yeah. you can you can eat it. Yeah, yeah. you can eat it. Okay, next, which one are you gonna try? Let's go Chinese. Keep the the best for the last. The last for yeah, the best. Chow, let's go. Aha. This, this I can smell is spicy. You're like a kid. I have to make sure that you don't get your shit dirty. Watch your shirt. How was it? That's already too spicy for me. <coughs> That's already too spicy for me. Oh, it's like a ninja. It takes a bit. <laughs> It takes a bit of time to. Woohoo! Woohoo! Wait, I need five minutes. No water. Uh, no water? No water. Eh? No water. No. <coughs> eh? It's fine, it's fine. This is not the spiciest one. Right? Yeah? So that, that was the spiciest? Yeah. This one? I think so. Okay. What is it? Uh, Filipino. Filipino garlic uh, with lots of chilies. Okay, a little bit of a oil. It's okay, right? Yeah, but it's not spicy. Yeah. It's supposed to be super spicy? I just want to know. I wanted to prove eh? to people that you, you, you can make spicy sauces that are not like killer, but these, these are good. These have lots of chili. Okay, I want to repeat this. So one of the key things is to make sure that you don't, when you're cooking it, you I cook want, them down. I'm going to repeat the four of them, except for the, except for the Indonesian. These ones are, these three are good. To be honest, I have really low tolerance of spiciness, but here is perfect, mm -hmm. actually. I was really worried about this video, but every time you make me eat spicy stuff, I end up with a bad stomach because it's super spicy. Remember the noodle challenge? And then you gave me those snacks. But I care about you. See? No. You, can you feel the heat? Are you getting a little no, sweaty? I feel the heat. Yeah. I feel, but I am enjoying it for the first time, I'm enjoying the heat. So these two mm -hmm. have about 10 of these in there. Take a bite of this. No, no, no. no, no just no. take a bite of it. It's fine. You stomach. <laughs> That's <laughs> It's not true you have 10 of those. It has 10 of those, I'm not kidding. This is the demon, this is... <laughs> oh. oh, we got him at the end. Thanks for watching, guys. I knew it, you son of a I knew it. <laughs>